Hello world, uh, I hope you are doing very well. So, um, in this video, I would like to share with you um, this one of the projects I've been working on uh, for, a, for a while, uh, which is about um, a car rental uh, website or car rental reservation system, let's say, in which basically we have uh, two sites the the client side and let's say the the front side and then we have the admin side and the admin dashboard which basically controls the, the some components of of the websites and and controls the let's say supervises the the and the monitors the the bookings uh, on your on your system on or on your website so basically, as I said, we have the front page or the client side in which basically we have some sections as usual. Uh, we have the home page or home section. Then you have services section. Um, uh, and by the way, I forgot to mention that it is created uh, from scratch using PHP and MySQL. Um, and I used um, uh, a little bit of um, Vue.js in the front end. Then we have uh, the types of cars you have, which is again, this section is, uh, let's say, dynamically created, which means that you can edit this section from your admin dashboard, from, from your admin panel, um, by adding new, let's say, cars and removing existing cars, etc. Then you have the, the most important part in this website, or let's say in this reservation system, is, is this this part in which you you can uh, you can book or let's say rent a, a car. And then we have um, uh, a contacting us form and then a photo. So uh, let's log into the website. You have admin one two three four five six seven eight nine and then you can sign in. So basically, this is the admin dashboard in which you have the total clients, car brands, some basic information about your website and the upcoming reservations, all reservations and cancelled reservations. And then you have card rents. Uh, as I have mentioned before, you can edit this section from this from this part card car brands. You can add new a new uh, new brand and uh, remove existing brands, car types, type of the car and then cars. So you have some information about cars and so on and so forth clients and uh, users which is the admin uh, so um let's check the booking form and let's say pick up location is paris let's say the location is paris and uh, pick up date, let's say march 7th 2014 ah sorry 2024 march 2024. Okay, constantly. So basically, what, what what does happen at this part? There is a process uh, in the background that checks that, and the make in which we make sure that there is not a conflict between this reservation and existing reservations. There is no intersection or conflict between this reservation and existing reservations and, and thus we we return only the available cars in this pickup date between this pickup date and return date we return the available uh, cars and disponible cars so let's say i want to od a7 and then i have so basically it's a radio button you can only choose one then you can add let's say uh name john in uh, let's say john so with your reservation has been created successfully let's check this refresh so i have pickup date is on uh, uh, on second uh, second of march pickup location and then return date is fifth in march return location paris and the selected car and then here we have the client you can go and check the client with the id number five and uh, yeah so go back then you can you have this 
this uh, let's say this possibility to cancel the reservation if if the client changes his mind so then we go back again and you can you can do the same the same thing so basically that's all for this website and uh, i hope you like it and you enjoy it please if you have any questions or clarifications or in case you test and you try the, 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 the this website so basically you will find the, the github repository uh, in the description so in case you face any problems don't hesitate to to contact me thank you